So we're going to replace the GFCI. This is a 20 amp auto self test. It also has an LED indicator and it's fireproof housing. So let's go ahead and get started. And this one I'm replacing is also a 20 amp. So we make sure you want to match 20 amp outlet with a 20 amp outlet. And this is the one with the LED. The reason why I'm changing it out because this one's about 20 years old, has no LED indicator, and it's giving me issues where it's uh, turning off. This one hopefully will last another 20 years. So step one, you want to go ahead and locate which breaker switch it is. This one's labeled, but always test it to make sure. Right now it's turned off. I'm going to go ahead and plug in this unit right here and it is not turning on, otherwise I would hear a beep. So using a flathead screwdriver, you want to remove the flathead screws and the outer plate. All right, next, you want to go ahead and remove these screws. The new outlet comes with those screws. As you notice, black, the brass right here, and then on the other side is the white wires, and notice that the screws are silver. And then there's a green wire on the bottom, or it might be all copper, and that is the ground. Now before you take anything apart, make sure you read what's on here. This is the load connection right here. Okay, I took the plate off, and in the back right here, tells you which side is the load. So this is the load, and this is the line, and this is the ground. So always read the labeling. So let's go ahead and connect the white, which is a silver screw. It's also labeled right here, as you can see, white and load. All right, so let's go ahead and insert the ground. I like to do one wire at a time just so I don't get confused. Okay, that is done. Double check. That's the line and the black side, yes. And double check right here. Always double check your work. That's the line and that's the black side. Also known as the hot side. See how it says hot? And it's a line. So if it doesn't say black, it would say hot. So this is the load side, also a charge, and the black wire. This one right here could be a little tighter, see how it's coming loose. Let's fix that. That's always always good to check your work. And push in a little bit. There we go. That should be good. Yep, pull on all the wires, make sure they're good. And then when you face make sure it's faced for the right direction, of course. It's the hard part. So as you can see, these screws are not working, so I had to get longer screws. And these screws seem to work. They're just wood screws. They're a lot longer, and they help push in the outlet. Sometimes the wires behind the outlet get all jammed up, and it's really hard to install.
There we go. Make sure everything's snug. And we're going to turn on the breaker now. Go ahead and turn it on. There we go. It's not popping. That's good. Okay. And let's press the button. There we go. It's green light. It's good. There's plastic inserts and holes. So it's basically childproof. Well, for the most part, it's childproof. Nothing's foolproof. You have to sometimes wiggle it in because that plastic inserts, they're kind of stiff. We're going to go ahead and turn on this outlet, surge protector strip, and see what this thing can handle. So I got four pinball machines plugged in, and everything's working good. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks for watching.